So guys, welcome back to a new episode. This episode, we're looking at the awesome 748 RS Evo course bike. Basically a world superbike spec. Let's get into it. So before we get into it, if you hear a lot of noise, it's we are having electric roller shutters fitted. So there's not really much I can do about that, but sorry about that guys. Now, into this bike. <coughs> it comes with 20,000 pounds worth of receipts. It's full carbon fiber bodywork, carbon fiber wheels, all-ins, Brembo brakes, detachable brake lines as well. <laughs> it's an amazing bike. Let's get into it. Let's take a closer look at the front end. <coughs> so guys, let's start the front end. It has a Magneti Morelli dash. The ECU is hidden just behind here. While we get into this, all the body panels detachable by little screws like this here. I'll uh, get a close up on that. And it just really is a full world super bike spec bike. If you go to a track day on this, you are gonna be by far one of the fastest there. So light, it's bored out to 864 cc. It's can't find the wheels, turning easier. Fully set up all in suspension, front and rear. And it really is just the perfect machine for going fast on a racetrack. Let's talk about engine. It has a full JHP slipper clutch. Amazing bit of kit. It's been bored out to an 853cc. Really is awesome. And on the racetrack, those extra couple of cc's, well not a couple, a lot of cc's, really, really make up the straight, the straight line speed that this bike, obviously with a standard 7.48cc, is really missed out on on the track compared to the bigger bikes. And it really does put you up there with the big boys, especially with all the carbon fiber panels and just weighs nothing. It's like a feather really, really does have that great power to weight ratio that you need on the track. So it has a 52 millimeter Terminoni, Terminoni, however you say, exhaust exhaust system. It does sound awesome, it really unleashes that sound from a Ducati. And, and Terminoni being obviously the exhaust that Ducati tends to go for, it really just does look awesome on the back end of this bike with the carbon fiber seat unit. Really does finish off that race bike look. Right guys, let's talk about this awesome tank. Now it's a carbon Kevlar. It's the uh, RS bigger race tank. Basically, holds more fuel, basically for a little bit of endurance race. Not just on the average track day, you know, wanting to keep on the track a little bit longer than most. Really, really does help out. Now, it is carbon Kevlar, like I said. It's not the usual brushed aluminium that we're used to on this. All these fancy Ducatis and bikes we've looked at before. It really just does finish off the look. I believe on the smaller fuel tanks that you get on these bikes, doesn't quite look as good as obviously this one does. I need to give you the full perspective of the bike to point out that every single panel on this bike is carbon fiber Kevlar. They do not make these body panels anymore. If you find some, <laughs> you're very lucky. They're ultra rare, everything's carbon, ultra lightweight, really does make for the perfect race bike. Everything is made by the Kai. These panels are aftermarket parts. They are from obviously a non-manufacturer. This panels, or every panel, sorry, is made by the Kai in-house, which adds to the value. And it really just does make this bike one special bit of kit. And it has this race seat as well, which really, not comfy, but definitely on the track. Keeps you in place. Now, like I said, all the panels are held in by these little clips here every single panel on the bike, apart from the screen. Now, I'm gonna try and take this bike up. I'm gonna try and lift the seat unit off for you, show you what um, show what that looks like underneath. Really, really just does make this bike really special. Gotta need to take this out. Seat goes back like this. Let's grab the camera. So, so while we're here, obviously power commander, Awesome, really helps. You've got all your little settings on here, low, mid, high, basically just a fuel on the side, RPMs, all that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at this panel here as well. While we're here, might as well take a look. So, like I said, these panels are all Ducati made, Ducati cars here. Very rare, we'll not find them again. Like I said, MS production, Ducati, obviously, obviously, you know, commissioned these people to make these parts or they made them in house. I'm not too sure about the story. But like I said, carbon Kevlar, lightweight, ultra lightweight, really, really sets this bike apart from any other on the track. So obviously, like I said, it has these little bolts here. Let's put this back in for you. 
You have to give it a little bit of a push and twist. Clips in like that. Bit of a twist. You've got to try and find the hole. Here we are. Clip it, push it down. One here as well. Now, we're going to try and attempt to take these body panels off so I can show you uh, underneath what it looks like. Now, this might not go to plan. It definitely is a pain to put back on, trying to get it all together. It definitely requires a multi-man job, which I'm going to definitely go get Lee after to help me put it back together. Or if I can figure it out myself, it'd be nice. Try not to uh, damage the paint. It really is a lovely machine. And it definitely, if I can figure it out, just a bit tough, that one. Just a bit tough. All right, now we've got these lot down here. Probably gonna speed this up a little bit. They haven't been unscrewed for a while. So they are a little bit tough. Now, I have to be prepared for this. Now, let's put this over here on this bench. Like I said, definitely, uh, definitely hides a lot of the engine under there, but let's take a closer look. So you have obviously battery. Which I'm going to have to take this panel off anyway to jump the bike. Battery's a bit flat, it hasn't been started in a while. So it just get, it gives you a closer look at the engine and yeah, let's have a little bit of a closer look. Zoom in a second. Oh, I've changed everything as well. So let's zoom in a second, take a closer look. I'll let you guys have a little bit of a look at that. I'll shut up for a minute. Right, <clears throat> it's an awesome bit of kit. Let's zoom back out. I'd like to take this whole bag apart, which is what I'm gonna do, hopefully, not damage anything. Let's move these. And let's um, move over to the front of the bike. Or actually, can't take the tank off, obviously. Let's move over to the front. Now with front end of the bike, when I take this apart, these two carbon air filters, yeah, air filter, but basically channel air to the engine, basically not air filters will fall down. So I need to be, one is clipped in, other one is not. It's uh, how it came from factory. Not sure why I've done it that way, but they have. So let's do this here. Go put these in my little, my little tray. So I don't lose them, come back over. Now I've got none in this side. Just got two here. Good thing is, if you just want to access the front end and you take it, obviously you have to take the clips out of this side. They do hold the self, obviously on the, on still on the bike, the other panels that you wanted to take the belts out of pretty well, which means you don't have to worry about other parts falling like this just nearly did. <laughs> so yeah, it really just does make it a whole lot easier to obviously work on the bike in the pits and just figure out which one's loose. It's this one. air filter comes off. I've got these here. I'll uh, do a flat lay photo for you guys, which basically means I'll put all the panels down and I'll, um, I'll show you what it'll look like on and off the bike. And yeah, like I was saying before, let's get back to it. ECU here, Magnetic Morelli dash, cam fiber intake here, that obviously slides out like that. Pretty easy to take in and put in. It just slides in here like that, I think. God knows, I've taken it apart now and I can't put it back together. Um, yeah, slides in like that, keeps it in place. Obviously air goes in here, sends down more into the engine, keeps it cool. It's a nice looking bit of carbon fiber. Really adds to the piece, makes it that little bit more special. Really is nice. Ooh, my child, sorry. <laughs> so, like I was saying, it really, really does look awesome when it's stripped down. Makes it a lot easier to work on, obviously on the front area. If you have an accident or if anything fails, then obviously it's very easy to access. Like I was saying, everything's carbon fiber, even these little mounts here, excessive amounts, 
but it really just does add to that lightweight factor. So to uh, add to the effect, I'm going to take this back off. It doesn't fully come off, like I said, but it uh, definitely will just add to the photo that I'm going to show you guys at the end. It really makes it look that little bit cooler when well, obviously this is lifted up, exposing all the cam fiber underneath. Now, obviously that's the bike fully taken down, apart from the panels on the opposite side, which I've had to keep on, otherwise this would be a free man job. So, obviously you guys, I won't show you the other side, it basically looks like this, without obviously the clutch plate and all the battery and stuff. So, yeah, I'll leave you guys, I'll take a photo, I'll let you guys have a little bit more of a closer look at this in a second. So, I'll just do some panning shots here, and show you guys a little bit more of the bike. Let's do a time lapse of me putting this bike back together because it might take a while. Let's get into it. Right, <clears throat> so this is blowing my mind. These don't clip in, they're just sitting there. You've got to put the thing on, put that on at the same time. It's a two-manner. It's a two-manner, but it's a real pain in the ass. Uh, so, what are we saying? So that goes in there, but it's really confusing because this des doesn't... Oh. So it kind of goes in there. Took it together, way, take it apart way too confidently. Oh yeah, take it, oh, it's like this and this, and then obviously with video, I'm like, yeah, it's simple, put it back together. Then you can just go, da da, you're done now. I've done it myself. Right guys, so it's the end of this episode. Now, definitely took a lot longer to put back together than I thought it would, and definitely took it apart way too confidently. We only dove a little bit into this bike. If you really, really want to see more, if you really, really want to see more, Go look at our advert on www.gemspearshop.co.uk. It's the first one you'll see, apart from other cars. And it really, really just is one amazing bit of kit for the track. Or even, like we said before, collector's piece. It, it's number 461. It's a 748R as well. Forgot to mention that. It really is going to be a collector's piece. It already is a collector's piece. It has a load of amazing parts, like I forgot to mention. MS Production Swing Arm, that's there as well. It just is an awesome bike. It is a foggy rep, as you can tell. It's um, really just is nice collector's piece. And yeah, that's about it for this episode. We'll uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>